in the previous video, we, we got our bar chart working, it looks like, and you can change any of these X's if you want to something else. But I, last time I, when we left off, I was having a hard time, why is my Y axis not showing up? Well, the reason is, is because I've got this stepping, right? The Y ticks go from zero and then they step by a million. Well, the maximum I've got here is 650,000. So I've got an extra zero in here. If I get rid of that zero and then rerun it, I should start seeing my tick marks show up on the left-hand side, and I do. So that's just, I had an extra zero in there, and that's why my Y tick marks didn't show up. So you just gotta diagnose this stuff and look at everything, look at why the Y ticks are there, and just logically make sure this stuff is making sense to you. All right, let's take a look at, let's try a pie chart, right? What, what the heck, let's try a pie, a pie chart. All right, so we have a variable called classification. Uh, and a review of our data definitions. Tells us a classification equal to one is liquor and two is wine. So the question I have is what is the proportion of liquor versus wine, All right? That's the business question. So let's figure it out. So we're gonna end up having a new cell and a new grouped. This time we're gonna group by DF, group by, and here we're gonna group by classification. All right, and so let's get our DF summary is grouped, and we'll do sales dollars again. And we're gonna aggregate, and we're gonna aggregate NP sum. Okay. Love it. I think that's all I need there, yep, okay, beautiful. And then we're going to reset the index. And then I am going to define what a zero means and what, why. So I'm going to df summary dot loc. So when I see a zero and classification, I want that to be equal to liquor. And when I see location one and under classification, I want that to be equal to wine. All right? You say, well, how do you know it's zero one? Well, let's run my group by and run my summary and run my reset of index. And let's take a look at the the DF summary, I've got a two by two, right? So I know that index zero and classification, that one, I want that to equal liquor and index one and two, I want that to equal wine, all right? So it, it's a simple two by two um, matrix that I've got, okay? So I'm looking location zero and classification, I want that cell to equal liquor and one classification, I want that to equal wine versus what's in there now Right, so if I do, if, if what I do is I run both of these lines, what you're going to see is this is going to be, the one is going to be replaced with liquor and the two is going to be replaced by wine. So we run this 
and we run this, we look at our summary again, liquor, wine. So that's all I did is I just now assigned those two cells with a word, right? Because a zero, a one and a two doesn't mean anything to the reader of your pie chart, right? So we're going to create our figure. AX is going to equal PLT subplots, right? Uh, figure size. I can make this, this is have to be huge. We'll make this an eight by six. Um, we'll keep our DPI equal to 80. Yeah, and all that, all that can change. And now we're going to do ax.py. And what we're going to do is we're going to do a pie chart of DF summary where we've got sales dollars. Right. And I'm going to make it a radius is equal to three and the center is equal to four by four. Okay. All that stuff can, and that has to be in parentheses. Great. So let's see. All right. Four by four and then comma. Um, we're going to put the labels in here equals df summary classification uh, we're going to have auto percent so it's going to do the auto percent for us and we want that to look like uh, quotation marks percent 1.1 f percent percent okay and then the wedge per properties, we want that to, and that's a, in a squiggly bracket, we want that to be line width. We want that to be one. Uh, we want edge color. thing frame equals true okay so that looks like is that gonna work saying I got some invalid syntax in here make sure I get all my commas up missing a comma there that looks like I'm good you always got to check your commas all right let's put in a legend ax legend is df summary and we want the legend to be classification all right and let's show it plt dot show excellent so now we've got our and i want to put my i want the cell for that so i've got my summary all done got my data ready and now i'm going to run the pie chart so let's run this cell and let's take a look at the plot. There we go. I got my I got my legend in here. I got 66.2% and 33.8% liquor to wine proportion. Okay? Not too shabby. Not too shabby. So there are, you know, you know, I added in this pie chart, I added percentages and labels. And, and again, go back to other, other plot types, right? There's other things you can do. There are a number of different examples. Play, 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 all right? Uh, and again, the, the web
website for the gallery. Right, go to the gallery. I'm, I'm a strong proponent of looking and seeing if there's anything in there that interests you. Go to the gallery uh, using the Matplotlab lib library, matplotlibrary.org. Right, all sorts of really, really cool stuff in there. All right.